Clark. I know it's only been a couple of days since my last video, but this subject uh, really sort of got my juices flowing. <laughs> um, a friend asked me to say something um, about the transition from using our imagination um, in like uh, work with the elements. We begin imagining the, the elemental sensations and then eventually we make contact with the element and we begin actually working with the element. He wanted me to talk about that transition um, and how that works, why that works essentially. Um, and I call this the, the golden formula of um, initiation in Hermetics. We will use the, uh, the elemental work as an example here, working with the fire element. We imagine, we create for ourselves all the sensations of the fire element that we know of, and we inhale the, um, the fire element. We start imagining uh, and willing this connection with the fire element. And eventually, we actually do establish a connection with the fire element. And this is repeated with uh, the fluids, um, uh, with the vital energy. We're doing the same thing when we're accumulating the vital energy. We have this idea of what it is, and we start inhaling it, and voila, we connect with the vital energy. Um, so the elements, the fluids, the akasha, all these different things, uh, we use the same pattern of the creative imagination, creating the sensations, and then eventually making contact with the thing itself. Um, so, how does this work? Why does this work? Uh, we, what we are doing, basically, is giving an invitation to the element to manifest for us in the material realm. Uh, we, in our physical body, we are creating the, the sensations because we begin with this in step two with the sensory concentration, so we are fully capable of creating the sensations we want in our physical body with our creative imagination. So, at the physical level, we're, we're opening ourselves to the element. We're inviting the element in. And it, the same occurs in the astral body, the uh, water region of the mental body. Okay, we've got the, phys the uh, earth region of the mental body down by the physical sensations that we're creating for ourselves. And in the water region, you know, we're doing the same thing. We're talking about the sensorial body, the body that senses things. So we're creating the sensations in our astral body as well. And in the air region of the mental body, we're creating the idea. You know, we have this idea of the fire element what the fire element means, how it's supposed to feel. We're giving it these uh, labels. We're giving it a color. We're giving it all these ideas that associate with the fire element. Now, a primary rule of the mental realm is like attracts like. So, we're establishing this vibration in the mental realm of the fire element. And of course, the fire element will be attracted to what we have created. So here again, we're setting ourselves up to meet the fire element uh, on its ground, so to speak. And with the fire region of the mental body, our will, we have the will to make this connection with the fire element or whatever um, substance we're talking about. But, so, at a 
fire element, the fire region of the mental body. We've got this connection with the fire element. We're willing it to join us. Uh, in the air region of the mental body, we've established all the ideas of the fire element and willing it to join us. In the astral body, in the water region of the uh, mental body, we've established all the, the atmosphere of the fire element and in the physical body we've established all the sensations of the fire element so of course the fire element is going to come and join us in what we have created and then eventually after doing this for enough time we will actually begin inhaling the fire element itself and that's an interesting moment. It, it, you will know when that happens. It's like we have created a, um, a two-dimensional paper cutout, and then suddenly it becomes three-dimensional. It, it, the actual fire element, sensing it, is so different from what we conceive of it being beforehand that we instantly recognize that we've got something more here. You know, it's suddenly so much more than we imagined. And once we have connected with that, it's easy to replicate that connection. It's very easy then to actually inhale the fire element itself and we no longer are imagining um, using our creative imagination to achieve it but it's the creative imagination in combination with the will that does performs that magic that establishes that connection and once we have the connection we no longer have to inhale it we can bring it directly from the universe, and that you know is the work of the next step with the uh, the elements, bringing it directly from the universe, and the same with the vital energy. We bring it directly from the universe because we have established that connection. The thing is, when we're poor breathing the element, we're actually drawing in the vital energy at the same time because. We learned from the poor breathing, the vital energy, that when you pour breathe, you breathe in the vital energy. It's automatic. Uh, when you're really in your body sucking in uh, from the outside inward, you get vital energy. Um, so when we're doing this with the element, we're also sucking in vital energy. So that goes in extra, you know, like an extra draw to the element in the mental realm is there's vital energy here too, so that empowers it. But eventually, when we actually make connection with the, the element, the vital energy becomes irrelevant, and we no longer need the vital energy, so we no longer need to breathe through our pores. We do that as a method of getting in connection with the element itself, but once we have that connection, we no longer have to breathe it in. We can simply draw it from the universe, which is where it's coming from anyway. Even though we're poor breathing it in, you know, it's coming from the universe. It's from the universe that we inhale it. Um, so, that's the, the golden formula invariably works because it is that combination of the will plus the creative imagination, it all locks it in. Because of the mental principle of like attracts like, we have created the perfect vessel for the element or fluid, whatever we're dealing with because we have used creative imagination and uh, the, uh, the will. Um, and this is also the, the, the secret to evocation, basically. Um, 
in evocation we're creating the atmosphere we're creating the physical atmosphere with colored lights and and uh, uh, aroma um, etc um, symbols this creates the physical atmosphere to which we add you know this astral component of significance and then we make the mental connection and we draw the spirit into you know this atmosphere that we have created it's the same process the will and the creative imagination draws the spirit to us because of the mental realm you know like attracts like so <clears throat> this is the perfect formula and you really need to have no doubts that it will work because it must. <laughs> it simply must work. It's magic. <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.